So I'm in the middle of moving. The lights will turn on automatically as we walk down. I think this is mostly Air Max. This is 94 with my Air Max 94s on. BWs, the first BWs. If you had cool shoes, you was in the cool club, innit? Todos los días ando de tenis. Todo el tiempo hablo de tenis. Como tenis, vivo tenis, sueño tenis. En mi vida es parte esencial. Some people call me obsessed. I'd say it's a passion, 100% passion. Imagine life without sneakers. You have to walk around with some shoes, man. Tak moje historka vlastně k Hermaxům se váže až do mého dětství. My jsme vyrůstali tady v komunismu, tady nebyly žádný jakoby, tenkrát věci, které by se mi líbily. Tenkrát vyšly vlastně v roce 1990 vyšly Air Maxy první. Op het gegeven moment met hockey heel erg gebaseerd. Waardoor ik eigenlijk gewoon op lichte schoenen moest lopen die voldoende stabiliteit gaven. Dus toen dacht ik, hey, ik ga mijn Air Max weer eens een keer dragen, want eigenlijk droeg niemand dat toen. Zeg maar voor meisjes was het niet echt uh, was het niet echt zo'n uh, ding. The more and more my family was like, what are you wearing? What is that? I just wanted to wear more. Air Max was echt mijn eerste liefde, dus dat is ook echt gewoon mijn main sneaker. Voor mij is die schoen echt de mooiste sneaker die er ooit is gemaakt. Bubble. <laughs> Ciao. I'm walking on the street and some dude, he's riding a BMX. Well, I'm walking and he's coming riding towards me and he's just done an end there. What a dozy who started going crazy like. I was like, whoa, that's it. <laughs> that's the vibe you love when somebody compliments your kicks, innit? In 2010, I encuentro with this silhouette. La descubro, me llama la atención la cápsula de aire, los materiales y empiezo a comprar todas las todas las estilas que encontrara, más bien todos los colores de esa silueta sin saber que los iba a coleccionar. Konnichiwa. Boku no namae wa Jiken desu. Tokyo e yokozo. Ma ano, hajimete Air Max o katta issoku ninarimasu. O kiniri no issoku desu. There are 500 pair uh, sneakers, but there are over 300 pair Air Max design. I'm stopping when I get to 1987. I want that many kicks. I tell them that life is a war and that you have to have the adaptation to this war. I don't collect the baskets. I'm just a fan of the basket. So these are actually kind of special. There was only 95 pairs released and I got pair 95 of 95. And this is Air Max 90, Dizzy Rascal. These are one of eight designed by Eminem himself. They're all numbered on the inside, four of eight, this one is. This one is called Kitty Robo, and it's a family and friends. And it's a family. These were my first pair of Amsterdammers. It's really my hometown. I was very happy when I came to the house. The thing about this sneaker game, I love the chase. I'm sure every sneakerhead would like agree with me. It's the chase. Air Max Zero. 去年の3月26日にそうです一人でえっと折りたたみの椅子と寝袋を持ってきて寒さをしのぎながら11時間待ちました。You're chasing to get this shoe. It's like once it's in the cupboard, what's next? Ik zoek nog steeds naar zoek ik echt al tien jaar naar een Air Max One Albert Heijn. Dat is wel echt mijn holy grail als ik die aan mijn rijtje kan toevoegen. The Albert Heijn, that's the one. It's going for nearly 10k or something. 我不知道发行准不准啊，反正是应该是差不多。Albert Hersey. Keine Ahnung, 
Viele werden ihn schon kennen. Viele hätten ihn sicher gern. Absolute Rarität. Absolut Kracherfarbe. Ja. Klassik. Ich bin Heisberg. Ich komme aus Leipzig, Deutschland. Ich sammle seit 1993 Sportschuhe und besitze mittlerweile rund 2000 Paar Nike Air Max. In der DDR gab es halt so gut wie gar keine Sportschuhe und wenn, dann für jeden den gleichen. In der DDR war halt alles ziemlich grau und in schwarz-weiß gehalten. Die Bubble war einfach unglaublich. Nie gesehen vorher und es war lieber auf den ersten Blick. Every shoe tells a story, every single one. Whether it be the journey, what you didn't eat that night in order to get the shoe you wanted the next day. Když ty boty třeba vidím, tak se mi okamžitě vybaví, kde jsem je měl, kdy to bylo. Adam Maxi jsou vlastně spojený jakoby, s tím, s tím mým životem, s těma vzpomínkama. This was actually my first date. Uh, we were walking my dog, and it was the 24 sevens. If you're gonna bury me, you gotta bury me in a pair of OGs. Straight, like Air Max Ones. <laughs> if I could have an Air Max One coffin, mate, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Le Centre Pompidou est un des musées les plus connus à Paris et aussi les plus controversés de par son architecture complètement différente et presque révolutionnaire. Le fait de rendre l'invisible visible quand on regarde ces grands escalators à, à travers ces, ces vitres transparentes, on, on comprend tout à fait le, le process. Passer de l'architecture à une paire de chaussures, c'est juste complètement dingue. I came from architecture. As an architect, I was quite aware of Renzo Piano's controversial but undeniably masterful work. He really turned architecture inside out. It just sort of came together for me and I started sketching. I even get a little bit choked up because I hear stories from people They tell me amazingly passionate and emotional stories about their relationships with shoes. Listen, this isn't about me or even Nike. The product isn't something you wear, it's something that you live. Thank you for letting me come along for the ride. C'est juste là, la chaussure classique qui ne vieillit pas comme un bon, bon vieil album de, de rap. Als iemand me heel veel geld zou bieden, dan zou ik het alsnog niet verkopen. Het kan mij mijn geluk voor als geld. Dit is wat ik me represent in de calle, de tennis. No matter what's going on, I always have my air with me. Vandaar würde ik schon sagen, Air Max. Het is een gevoel van vrijheid.